To help us graph equations shortly, it's important to be able to determine if something is a solution of an equation. Now we've learned how to do this in the past. When we were given an equation in one variable, say for example 3x minus 2 equals 10, we can ask is x equals 4 a solution of the equation? We checked that by substituting 4 for x and seeing if we came up with a true statement. Is x equals 4 a solution? Well, 3 times 4 subtract 2, is that equal to 10? Order of operations, 12 subtract 2 is 10, 10 equals 10, so is x equals 4 a solution? Yes. Now we're going to start dealing with equations in two variables. For example, we have 3x minus 2y equals 10. Now we are asked, is x equals 6, y equals 4 a solution? We can follow the same basic principle to determine if it is. Check. Is 3 times 6 minus 2 times 4 equal to 10? Order of operations, 18 subtract 8, 10 is equal to 10. So therefore, yes, x equals 6, y equals 4 is a solution of the equation. Now remember, we can write that statement x equals 6, y equals 4. That's commonly put into the format 6, 4, an ordered pair. So if we consider the equation 3x minus 2y equals 10, we can ask ourselves, is the ordered pair 2, negative 2 a solution? Check by substitution. 3 times 2 minus 2 times negative 2. Is this equal to 10? 3 times 2 is 6 minus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4. 6 minus negative 4 is 10. 10 equals 10. Yes, it's a solution. Is 0, 5 a solution? 3 times 0 minus 2 times 5. Is this equal to 10? 0 take away 10 is negative 10. And negative 10 is not equal to 10, so therefore, no, this is not a solution of the equation. 